It's Angie and welcome to Hot and the Flashy. Today I'm going to make a batch of my favorite chocolate chip zucchini muffins. Now this is a great way to get vegetables into your children or even into your vegetable averse grown-up friends. So um, they'll never even know it's in there. Well you do kind of because you can see it but they're so delicious that by the time people um, realize it's in there they don't care. And I had always thought of muffins as a healthy snack, but now the muffins that you get at the grocery store or at the coffee shop, they're enormous, they're loaded with sugar, and the average muffin that you buy at Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks or someplace like that can be anywhere from 300 to 550 calories. This recipe is about 195 calories. So if you want to print out the downloadable version of my recipe, you can go to my blog at www.hotandflashy50.com and here's the link. And I'll also put the link below in the info bar. So let's get started. Okay, the first step in this recipe is to grate up the zucchini. We need one cup of grated zucchini. So you just take a standard box grater and a zucchini you want to leave the peel on. Now if you want this to completely disappear into your muffin so that nobody knows it's there, you could peel the zucchini, but that also peels away a lot of the nutrition that um, resides in the skin of the zucchini, so I like to leave it on. My family's not opposed to there being zucchini in the muffins because they are quite good. So you just grate it against the box grater. It's really simple and easy and quick. And what I like to do is that uh, usually it takes about a half a zucchini to make a cup. So I will grate up the whole thing and put half of it into a zipper bag and use it uh, to make my turkey meatloaf or some turkey burgers another night this week. And we need one cup for this recipe. Okay, so there's our cup and that is going to go into the larger bowl which is going to contain our wet ingredients. Okay, so now in the smaller bowl we're going to put the dry ingredients, one and a half cups of flour, quarters of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, that's about right, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you just mix that together. All right, so that's all mixed up. Now we put that aside, and now we mix up the wet ingredients. All right, so we need one egg white. So you've got to separate your egg. Eggs. Okay. That's separated. That needs to be lightly beaten. A quarter cup of canola or vegetable oil. We need a third of a cup of applesauce. I love these little individual sizes. That's a little bit over a third of a cup. We'll put that in. Quarter cup of skim milk. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Here's my lemon in my handy dandy squeezer. Tablespoon of lemon juice and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just going to mix that all together until it's well combined. Now I just fold in the dry ingredients. And you can do this the other way around. You can add the wet into the dry if you prefer. I really don't think that the ingredients know whose bowl you're putting it into. 
And with muffins, you just want to mix it until they're just incorporated. You don't want to overwork the batter, which is why I prefer to do it by hand than putting it in like a stand mixer. I think that does, mixes it too much. So see, it's even got a little bit of dryness around the edges, but where we're still going to mix in our um, quarter cup of nuts and our quarter cup of mini dark chocolate morsels. We're still going to be doing some more stirring, so then it will become completely incorporated by the time we get those in there. Alright, and now it's ready to go into the muffin cups. Okay, so they had these really pretty muffin papers at my grocery store, so I bought a package of these, and these are by Paper Chef. They just came in a box, so I like to use a muffin liner because, you know, I don't want to have to wash the pan. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy that way. If I'm going to take the effort to uh, actually home bake muffins, I like there to be less of cleanup. <laughs> and this batter should just perfectly fill 12 full-size muffin cups. Now these papers are really tall. They're, you know, much taller than your average muffin paper. So clearly you're not going to be able to fill them right up. There's going to be a lot of paper sticking up the top, you know, over the top of your muffin. It's going to be sort of a artisan type presentation. And then when there's a little bit left over, I just try to look and see which has the least, which one got gypped, and put the rest of the batter in that one. Okay, so now they're ready to pop in the oven. They will go into a 350 oven for 25 to 30 minutes.